Look at that. This is me working hard, my dirty hands. Helper number one. And helper number two. What's helper number two doing? You getting some sun? Sean's working on his tan. Nice. Okay, boys and girls, just another day. I'm going to go start working on Maeve pretty soon. I have an hour long drive ahead of me. I just want to show you guys some of the tools that I bring with me to work on the car. So I have a bunch of Milwaukee tools here. Milwaukee's awesome. I could probably take an entire car apart just with these four tools right here. I have my toolbox, I have headphones, a laptop, and my gimbal. And I also have my SLR camera. Now today we're gonna to do things a little bit differently. We're not gonna take the truck, we're gonna take the ZL6. So remember in the Tesla I was complaining about a slight uh, noise coming from uh, either pillar. Now there's actually so much noise in this car, if there was something wrong with it, I wouldn't be able to tell. A lot of people have been asking me as to whether or not I would consider uh, selling the, the Z06 after the Tesla's back on the road, after I finish Maeve. Okay, wow. Um, and that's not the case. This car is low, it's loud, it's cool, and it's fast. I'll tell you something right now that the uh, acceleration of the Tesla on the highway is good, but it's nowhere near what the Z06 is. Keep in mind that the Tesla is very fast from 0 to 60, maybe 0 to 70 or 100, but after 100, the car kind of falls in its face, my friend told me. Uh, but the Z06, it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. The Z06 is fast from 0 to 60, it's fast from 0 to 100, all the way to 180 to 200. The car never loses power. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get rid of this car anytime soon. Yes, it's bad for the environment. I probably killed three people just driving up here to the exhaust fumes. But this car is just too much fun. It's too much of a blast. And it's the polar opposite of a Tesla Model S. Now, will my opinion change later on once I get sick of the noise and the pollution? Maybe, but for now, I'm not getting rid of this thing. I'll be at Sean's house in a few minutes. I'm gonna work on Maeve together. So here's one issue that I have to look into right now. And this side of this car, the driver's side of the car got smashed pretty, pretty decently. As you can see, the passenger side is still pretty good. This charge port right here is, is gonna be an issue because uh, the side of this rear fender got smashed so bad, I can't even remove this, uh, this charging infrastructure. So as you could see, there should be four visible bolts. One there, uh, I hit one there, and I can't even see the rest. So this entire thing got smashed in. What I have to do right now is I have to get a hammer and I have to peel a lot of the sheet metal back just so I can access these these bolts to get this uh, these charge cables out. one for removing a Tesla Model S battery. The first thing you need is you need a six-sided bit to, uh, to undo a couple of bolts at the bottom of the battery pack. So just to give you an idea of what we're up against here, if I flip this over and I look underneath, there's various holes. There's one there, one there, one down there. There's actually several of these holes that you have to undo first. And these are the holes uh, and the bolts that go in those holes that secure the battery pack to the bottom frame of the car. But there's a secondary set of bolts that run all along the sides, like a channel to the left and right of the Tesla to actually mount it to the actual frame, the main frame uh, of the vehicle. So what we're gonna do first, we're actually gonna remove these. So I'm gonna start off here. Yep. Here 
<laughs> Look at that. This is me working hard, my dirty hands. Helper number one and helper number two. What's helper number two doing? You getting some sun? Yes. I'm trying to even out my face tan. My hands. Sean's working on his tan. And my nice. Toes. And my toes. Gotta get my sandal tan on. Nice. I like that. Why don't we have socks on with sandals? It makes so much sense that way. Dude, I love socks. <laughs> Alright, back to work. He had cocaine, opiates, and alcohol in his system. Uh, that's a good morning. January 6th to 2016 was in Hong Kong. September 16th was uh, uh, hitting a tree, single car accident, hitting a Just to let you guys know, there's uh, one bolt left, and the bolts that uh, go at the sides of the uh, the Tesla all around here that support the battery. Um, right now, there is one bolt holding this car up, and it's right here. So that's pretty interesting in itself. If you see when I start lowering this, if I start loosening it, the pack slightly goes down. That's just letting you guys know just how strong these bolts are. There's one bolt holding up what's essentially a 1,500 pound pack. Granted, yes, on the other side, there's a little bit of wood bracing it from falling over on this side. And I have some safety wood right there so it doesn't come crashing down. But it's actually doing a really decent job of, uh, of keeping the entire pack up. Again, one bolt is holding this entire pack up right now. I'm going to loosen it a little bit more. And once it comes down, I'll take another clip. So after moving that last bolt, I was able to get the battery pack down. So right now, the battery pack is resting on a couple pieces of wood couple pieces of tree bark and a cinder block and some wood there as you can see the battery pack is about maybe an inch or two out of the bottom of the car and on the rear end it's fully disconnected from the high voltage wiring right there and there's a nice little gap in between the car and the uh and the battery pack itself now just to give you a quick overview of this car this thing suffered some serious damage and this is completely irreparable because if you look here the mounting points to where the the drive unit mounts to the frame of the vehicle is is cracked and also there's a hairline crack going through here as well and also another interesting thing i noticed too was that there was actually some sunlight coming in through the floorboards of the uh, of the model s so this is with the rear carpet sorry the entire carpet removed and once that's been removed uh there's you, you have complete access to the floorboards to the car and the floorboards you know, obviously they're just plain steel boards, but, sorry, aluminum boards rather. But what's happening is there's actually perforations in those boards. And the same thing happened in Dolores as well. There's sunlight coming to the bottom of this right here. So that means if the inside of a Tesla gets flooded, the top of the battery pack will get wet. Granted, the battery pack, the top is covered in, in, in a glued plastic blanket that mounts to the top of the battery. But it's still a very, very interesting point to note that the other cars that removed the battery in as well have suffered the same issue. It looks like there's minor separation of the of the floor panels in the Model S. Also, there's some dents over here. Uh, that's another cool shot of the uh, the battery pack separated from 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 the rest of the car. And before I head out, I'm actually going to cover that that intelligence those intelligent ports up so no water gets in there. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to call today a wrap. I'm just looking at other various pieces of damage um, and uh, we're gonna see what how much stuff I got today no. All right, let's take a look at this drive unit Woo. all right so the drive unit obviously there's this issue right here but that's part of the suspension the suspension that shouldn't be that big of a deal I have to take a look at this axle and probably get a new one and the thing that sucks about that axle is that the fact that the car flipped over and this didn't come out, that means it's in there really, 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 really good. Uh, this mounting point is fine. However, this third mounting point right here is cracked. So this whole subframe, it can't be used. I 
have to get a new subframe, which I thankfully have. But, oh, and this axle is busted. Well, it's at least stretched. I don't trust it either. So I had to put a new axle there. These suspension pieces are broken, obviously. This is broken too. Um, so a lot of this has to be thrown away. The only thing that's worth saving right here, I would say, is the, um, is the actual motor itself and uh, maybe the brake and the caliper. Uh, okay, so here is today's haul. I got the subwoofer and the driver's side wiring harness along with the charge port and high voltage cabling. There's still a lot more to be done with the car. If you want to see me remove the rear motor, I'll have that link in the description. I still have to do the front motor, uh, the front suspension cradle and associated components. And I'll be doing a video on the main wiring harness as well. I got a lot of stuff coming. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Tesla breakdown and rebuild videos. See you guys soon.